It's Tuesday, which means it's time for another edition of Press Pass, brought to you by our friends at Robbins Motor Company. And we're coming at you from the WTC Gig Powered Studios here at the GoPowerCat.com World Headquarters. From GoPowerCat.com, I am Riley Gates, and Kansas State is coming into this week coming off a tough loss at Oklahoma State. The Wildcats were defeated by 13 points in Stillwater, but it sure felt like a lot bigger loss than just 13 points. However, while it was a tough loss in the first of the 2019 season, K-State has already moved on and is looking ahead to the next challenge in front of it. Putting a little closure on Saturday, going back and, and looking at things, a couple of things really stuck out. One, uh, what we had to do was stay on the field and we weren't able to stay on the field. We were, I think, one of 12 or one of 13 on third downs and you can't do that on the road and you can't do that in the type of offense that we want to play. And then um, just explosive play battle. They uh, had, you know, I think, 10 explosive plays to us, that's 20 or more, and I think we had like two. So that, those are two big factors that uh, we've won in the first few games and didn't obviously win that in, on Saturday. So um, cleaned a lot of things up uh, as a coaching staff um, that we talked about uh, on Sunday. Uh, I think the biggest thing uh, was the amount of things that we had in on third down, probably the two weeks to prepare. We need to, we need to carve that up a little bit. and. Uh, Mess and I and the offensive staff visited about that and uh, obviously we're still constructing the game plan but we need to be um, a lot sim simpler on third down and uh, I had a good workout yesterday uh, in preparation uh, for a really good Baylor team that's 4-0 and 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 playing well and playing with a lot of confidence so we've got our hands full this week. You know as players we didn't like execute at a high level we usually do and um it wasn't like the play calling because we watched the film was opportunities for big plays to happen we just didn't execute so that's on us we get better we couldn't wait to uh come out at practice yesterday and execute a little bit better uh you know the mindset's you know pretty positive right now you know we lost one game and it was a tough loss and uh but the thing that's positive about it is all those mistakes that we you know we made you know are definitely fixable mistakes and that's just uh you know one bright side of it that next challenge ahead of the wildcats well that'd be the 4-0 baylor bears at head coach Matt Rule, who come in here after defeating Iowa State in its first Big 12 game of the season. K-State knows that Baylor is not going to be an easy test, both offensively and defensively. The Bears bring something to the field that will push the Wildcats on Saturday. I think they're really good at the skill positions, and it starts with the quarterback. I think he's a tremendous football player, um, can beat you with his arm, can beat you with his, with his legs, keeps plays alive really, really well. I was really impressed with him, uh, obviously watching the first – few games where they had some blowout wins but against Iowa State that does an awful lot of things on defense uh, pressures and, and different pictures and I thought uh, he managed the game exceptionally well and then on the two minute drive he won the game he just flat won it because he just made plays and so it starts with him um, and uh, it, but no they have really good backs and receivers I mean he's still a, a mobile quarterback so with the mobile quarterback you always got to worry about them getting out of the pocket um, whether it be he's not faster or, or if he runs low he doesn't work, run a lot of mobile quarterbacks always dangerous so we're Sorry, go ahead. You're fine. So you're, I mean, we're, we're still worried about it. We get, we got to uh, focus on not letting them get out of the pocket and, and attack it that way. You know, they've, it, it starts up front, you know, their nose guard is, you know, 330 pounds. They've got, they've got big guys out at playing five techs. Um, they're doing a lot of different things than they have in years past up front, which is going to present some challenges. Um, I know, like Skyler had said, they do some similar things to what Oklahoma State did in terms of structure. And so, you know, we, we got to prepare for that and be ready for that. Bouncing back from the loss at Oklahoma State and getting to 1-1 one one in Big 12 play is the biggest storyline this week, but we'd be remiss without mentioning the new uniforms that the Wildcats are going to be putting on the field. Yesterday, K-State came out and announced that it would be wearing white helmets and white pants to go along with the traditional purple uniforms, and needless to say, K-State is very excited about the way it's going to look on Saturday. It was, it was uh, pretty cool, something we've been talking about for uh, an awful long time of um, – the white helmet and white pants and um, you know with Kenny's crew and, and visiting with us of when we were going to pull that out you know we wanted to didn't want to do it early in the season wanted to wait till uh, uh, a conference game and this seemed like a perfect time to do it um, we needed to unveil it yesterday just so that the guys Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday have a chance to to wear the helmet that's the biggest thing you know you can't unveil that on a Friday the kids would freak out if they have to put a helmet on they haven't worn for, for the whole week. And, and uh, I didn't want to put it out in the open week and, and have that out there for two weeks. And so this just seemed like the right time. 
I love the uniforms, the white helmet, the white pants. You know, it's, it's a great addition going into Baylor, something to get excited about. And, you know, watching my boy Mike walk out, right. you know, with the helmet, they, that, that brought joy to my heart. You know, that's my boy. He came in with me. So just seeing, you know, the energy he had and just how happy everybody was and excited everybody was, that, that brought a smile to my face. The new uniforms are definitely something cool, definitely change up uh, something in the program. Uh, you know, I don't know if you guys believe in the saying, you know, look good, feel good, play good, but there's a lot of guys that believe in that saying, and, uh, uh, you know, definitely, you know, it's nice to have a little bit of swag on this team, uh, you know, just having such traditional uniforms, and I think we're going to keep those traditional uniforms, you know, those will always be in the program, uh, just like teams like Nebraska and Oklahoma, Texas, uh, you know, teams and programs that will always have their tr traditional, you know, throwback uniform, uh, but, you know, like you said, it's always nice to, you know, change it up a little bit. I think it's all, it all looks good. Uh, I like how it's pretty simple. It's not, not, a, not too much. Um, or too flashy, but I think it, it looks really clean. It's a 2.30 p.m. kick at Bill Snyder Family Stadium between the Kansas State Wildcats and the Baylor Bears. You can catch a game on ESPN2, and we'll be here all week at GoPowerCat.com to bring you coverage leading up to the game.